Hey gang, welcome to the studio. Diana here today with some yellows. I'm swatching out all of my yellows and I have, I think I have a couple of yellow ochres and a couple of nickel azo yellows, but I'm just going to swatch everything out and see what I've got. And um, you can have a look here and I'll try to talk you through the more transparent yellows and the um, uh, the more opaque yellows, the warm and cool yellows. So this, I met, must have lost the footage there for that Hansa Yellow Medium, which is nine, PY97, which is a slightly warmer um, yellow. And I'm going to uh, do the Lemon Yellow now. And uh, is that, well, that's Windsor Newton Yellow, and that is Lemon. Windsor Newton Lemon PY175 and this is a really nice cool yellow. It's the perfect lemon yellow. So uh, I wound up with a couple of these because of the names of the paints. Here's the uh, lemon yellow from Daniel Smith. Also PY175. Kind of frustrating to um, spend my money on things that I don't need to spend my money on. And um, so to know these, uh, you don't have to memorize the PY numbers or the p pigment numbers, but if you um, are looking for a color, it's a really good idea to have the numbers somewhere so that you can look at them and you can say that's a match. They're the same exact pigment, but you know what? I go through a lot of yellow, <laughs> so. And now we have the cobalt yellow. And that has a sort of a long name, a number after it, but it's PY40. And I, is this a Daniel Smith? It is. And this is another really nice, bright yellow. Again, it's just over that uh, line. Uh, it's not as cool as the lemon. So you can see the difference there, I think. Just a little warmer, but pretty true. Now here's a beauty. This is New Gamboge, PY153. I love this color. It's a warm, warm yellow. And it's it's verging on orange, and it's like, it's like a yellow orange. It's a beautiful color. Nice and well, sort of semi-transparent. I don't know what the actual rating is. i just looking at that black line that I draw to see how transparent it is. And now we here we go with the yellow ochres. This was a hand-me-down from Dale Aroni and a hand-me-down from M. Graham. So let's, I, I have had this on my palette. I do use this color. It's a warm, earthy ochre, yellow. And uh, it's a good color. It's a very valuable color because you can mix it with other yellows and greens and it really provides a lot of bang for your buck because it it calms down a color like a brighter blue. You can see that's a really nice, that's a really good color. And here's the M. Graham. Remember M. Graham is a little different because they use honey as a binder. So, um, and uh, I don't see much difference between these two colors. But if you remember that boho green from the other day, this would be a great way to get a boho type of green by mixing uh, this ochre with maybe some viridian or another green. And you're going to wind up with a color that is like that boho green. But that's an exact match again. And I don't know, I, I maybe I'm not, uh, uh, maybe I'm crazy. There's two nickel azo yellows there. I find that one paint to the next paint is, I don't know, they seem pretty much the same to me. Maybe I'm not sophisticated enough. I love this color. Look at how bright that is. That's got to be the nicest, brightest color around. And that will definitely be, there will be a lot of that on my palette. And um, here's the M. Graham's version. That was core before. I do love core paints. They're very good paints. And look at the difference here. These are both PY150s. And uh, the M. Graham just seems a little earthier to me. Also, very nice color, and that might be what you want. So. 
keep it in mind by all means it's a, it's a good it's a really good color and now here we go again because I wasn't aware of the numbering system this is called a uh, yellow transparent yellow so I thought it was a transparent yellow when I bought it and it's another nickel azo yellow again you don't want to waste your money but there could be worse mistakes than buying too many yellows because yellows like as you probably are sick of hearing me say now yellows like the beacon as far as I'm concerned so I'm going to try to edit the rest of these color swatching videos I am finished with them at this point and I want to move on um, with the video series here so I will probably get these finished up early next week and um, here is the whole stash remember to let these these dry completely and I prefer drying naturally there's the lemons together so don't forget to subscribe and like this vi video if you are enjoying this series um, and don't forget to leave a comment pop around to my blog all of these uh, colors are listed below in the description and I'm moving through I'll be moving through the rest of these swatch videos pretty quickly and then on to a very basic palette that I've been recommending for years and I think you will enjoy so if you want to see those make sure that you subscribe and um, even push that button that little bell button and you'll get notified when I upload another video if you're new to this channel I also do art journal videos with some mixed media work watercolor painting videos and some card videos and book binding videos so I hope you'll enjoy that kind of variety and come back and see me again real soon bye now